side. This week, the sky will be catching eyes. Malik Wilson is joining us live from the Science Center with details on the upcoming super moon, Malik. Good morning, Mary. Yes, tonight it's going down. I mean, it's going to be a super moon, plus we're going to have a partial eclipse. So it's a lot of science going on. And uh, here at Show Me St. Louis, we don't know it all. That's why we call our friends over here at the St. Louis Science Center. Will, thank you so much for joining us. So uh, tell us a little about the super moon and what special is adding on top of that. Absolutely. You know, when people talk about a super moon, first and foremost, it is a full moon. So we'll have a lovely full moon tonight. But when you hear that phrase supermoon, it's really talking about the moon's orbit. It doesn't orbit our planet in a perfect circle. Instead, there are times it will be slightly closer or slightly farther away. And when it's at that close point, you'll call it a supermoon, since it might look slightly bigger or slightly brighter in the sky. For sure, for sure. And I know that there is a partial eclipse on top of that. How often does this partial eclipse happen? And what is the eclipse? Sure. So during a partial eclipse of the moon, we have all remember the solar eclipse back in April. Now, this is a totally different beast. This time, some of the light that normally shines on the moon will be blocked out by the Earth, but we only have a partial lunar eclipse tonight. And it's not even a very great one. Only about 8% of the moon will be blocked during that eclipse. So it won't be a spectacular event, but it's still something worth going out and seeing. And if if you're going to pick the only one time to go out, I'd go out around 945. That's where that maximum eclipse will happen. For sure. And I know that there's another supermoon that's coming in October, about a month from now. So talk to us about that supermoon and why that one's special. Right. So, you know, it takes the moon roughly 29 and a half days to go through a full cycle of those phases. So coming up in October, the moon will still be near that close point of its orbit again, and it will be the closest point for the entire year. But if you want to go out and watch a supermoon, the change is pretty slow. Light. So if you want to see the moon at its biggest, I talk, typically recommend going out just as the moon is rising. When it's low on the horizon and you have the context of buildings and trees, it plays a little trick in our brain and it makes the moon look as big as it can. Wow. Wow. So take those tips right there and also take those tips on our full screen. Be sure to check out their website so that you can get all the information that you need if you're missing this or whatever. You're not listening, right? <laughs> but uh, it's going to be awesome tonight. Again, around what time? Around 945. Around 9 and Saturn will be right next to the moon too. So that's oh, something great to look we, for. Mary, we're getting a three for one deal tonight. We got Saturn, we got the super moon, and we have an eclipse. What, what more can we get? What more can we get? What more can we ask for? And Malik, is this a night that I'd perhaps stay up past my bedtime? Yes, Mary, you have to stay up past 5 p.m. No, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it seems like it. It seems like it. He gave a great sales pitch. I'm convinced. How exciting. Now, beyond the moon, too. this week really is the perfect week. 